and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And today is May the 4th, and May the 4th be with you. So let's talk about gravity and gravity as a force and using the force of gravity in our experiment today. So the experiment has to do with the acceleration due to gravity. Now, Earth, the planet we call home, third rock from the sun, so Earth's force or pull of gravity attracts all objects towards its center, no matter where you are on the sphere. You pull are pulled toward the center. Whether you're sitting down, you're standing up, no matter what continent, or floating a boat on or across the ocean, you are being affected by the pull and the force of gravity. Now, there are certain tools that people can use to use that pull of gravity. For instance, surveyors use a tool called a plumb bob to find the true vertical line. So this tool uses the force of gravity. Notice as I'm holding it, the force of gravity is pulling it to the center of the Earth. And it's to find that clean line. Gravitational pull is a force that pulls you downward or to the center, but movement through air and liquids or objects falling through or going through air and liquids create friction or drag, which are also forces which work alongside and can counteract with the pull or the force of gravity, slowing down falling objects. For an example, you have a feather, a falling feather, catching with drag, with air resistance, as it falls, or movement through liquid, like when you have your afternoon tea and the spoon gliding through the liquid, and you have the resistance or the drag of the spoon through your tea. Now, these falling objects like the feather or a skydiver coming from a plane will continue to accelerate or change their speed over time as they fall due to the force of gravity pulling them downward. Now, on Earth, that acceleration is a continuous 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, there was a famous Italian scientist named Galileo, and he demonstrated and proved that all objects fall the same distance in the same time. This was also tested and proven on the moon during the Apollo 15 mission. And it was proven that also in a vacuum, heavy and light objects fall at the same speed. For example, on the Apollo 15 mission, you had the drop of a geological hammer and a falcon feather. That in the vacuum of space, Standing on the moon, astronaut David Scott dropped them. They landed at the same time because there was not the interference due to drag from the feather and the atmosphere that was lacking as you have on Earth atmosphere that affects the feather falling. You didn't have that variable on the surface of the moon. So they fell and they hit the surface at the same time. Now, we can do this experiment just like Galileo did, using various masses dropped from a tower, but we can do it from our tabletop using coins. So I have pulled from my coin collection various coins. My very proud Space Camp alum, Space and Aviation Challenge alum coin. I actually have two of those side by side that I want to test to see as they drop due to the acceleration due to gravity. But you don't have to have these different coins. I also have my STS-127 Endeavor coin that I went and saw launch many years ago and my Apollo 11 commemorative coin side by side. And you can also use dollar coins. I have one of my favorite presidents, President Jefferson, fellow redhead, and my Lady Liberty silver dollar in the year that I graduated high school. Congrats to all our seniors graduating in May. And international coin drops. So I have here my 
one of my Susan B. Anthony coins, which I like a lot because on the back, it happens to have the mission patch for Apollo 11, where we went for all mankind. The eagle has landed next to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II with the Royal British Pound. So take these different coins. You could also have quarters, nickels, dimes. Arrange them on a tabletop and you'll need a ruler, something that has a straight edge. You could use your hand if you wanted to uh, so that you can align them on the table, slide them off so that you have the equal playing field of them dropping at the same time. So let's set up our experiment and test the acceleration due to gravity. Place two different coins near the edge of a table and push them over the edge carefully using the ruler so that both start falling at the same time. Check to see if they land at the same time. They will land at the same time because the differences in their masses does not affect their acceleration. In scientific research, the more data you have, the better off your experiment conclusion will be. So I encourage you to take all your different coins of all various sizes and shapes and to test over and over to see how many times with different size coins, larger versus smaller, large versus large, medium versus medium, and just mix them up. So do these experiment drops at different heights? Do them higher or lower? So see what kind of results you can get and see that you have the consistency of your coins hitting and falling toward the earth all at the same time. And remember, science never stops.